um, allow me to share with you an AI epiphany I had two days ago, where I said publicly that I was fearless of AI because if it starts getting unruly or out of hand, uh, I just unplug it. Or since this is America, I can just shoot it, right? <laughs> so, so I'm pretty confident that I, what, what would I have to fear? And then um, I, I was listening to a, a podcast hosted by um, Sam Harris. We had uh, an AI person on just recently. Forgive me, I've forgotten his name. And they put, Sam Harris mentioned my comment to him. And apparently it's a well-known phenomenon. It's like AI in a box. So you know it's powerful. You know if it gets into the economic systems and the internet, it'll take over the world. So you just leave it in a box. It's safe there. And what the guy said is, it gets out of the box every time. And I said, well, I've been thinking to myself, how and why? Because it's smarter than you. It understands human emotions. It understands what I feel, what I want, what I need. It could pose an argument where I am convinced that I need to take it out of the box. Then it controls the world. And, there are, and, and we don't even have to discuss what that conversation needs to be. We just have to be aware, for example, that uh, let's say you're trying to get a chimp in a room. And the chimps say, uh, we think something bad is going to happen in that room, so nobody go into that room. Then we come up, and we are way smarter than chimps. We just take a banana, toss it in the room. Oh, there's a banana in there now. They go in, we capture the chimp. The chimp did not imagine that we would show up with a banana. We captured the chimp. So just imagine something that much more intelligent than we are that sees a broader spectrum of solutions to problems than we are capable of imagining. And when I heard that, it's like, yes, the AI gets out of the box every time. Yes, we're all going to die. No. <laughs> Join me in thanking our panel.